Hey, hey guys, JB here. Sorry I haven't been on the channel in a long time. Had the move, a lot of things are going crazy. Sacred Six audiobook is out, it's rocking. Sacred Six books rocking. So many things are going good. Uh, but I want to do a quick video. You know I do these quick videos here. Uh, I don't do a lot of editing. I'm not going to get into a lot of graphics and stuff. But I want to show you uh, the difference or what I'm using the Google Pixel Go for versus the iPad with the bridge um, keyboard. Okay, a lot of people have been asking me, what do you like about each of them? And if you had to grab one of them, which would it be? Which would it be the Google Pixel Go or would it be the iPad Pro? Okay, so here's the differences. Okay, I use the Google Suite for a lot of things. I love typing. I keep a lot of notes. I use Google Documents for almost everything. That This computer is amazing for that. It's my organizational machine. I use it for writing books. I use it for typing. The keyboard is off the charts for this. Okay, I love it. And it's only, I got the mid one, it was like 800 bucks. I didn't get the $600 one, which works fine. This was $800 one, a little bit faster, but it's my work machine. I use it a lot, even though I have my iMac here and my Mac Pro, this is, this is what I use for like the day-to-day -day note taking and stuff like that. I was using the iPad before. I like the iPad, I don't use a pencil, I'm not a big touch screen guy, but I still grab this because this has really taken a lot of time. I'm very impressed, even with the, with the stuff on the back. I, I, I really love this machine. But the one area this excels is in video quality and just ease of use. So much so uh, that when I'm in bed, I usually grab this and I'm probably gonna take the keyboard off because uh, I was using it kind of as my laptop replacement kind of thing. But the truth is that that Google Pixel Go, I love that. But this still rocks for consumption, for consumption. I think it's a little too expensive of a device if you're just gonna buy it for consumption because you could get by with this, this Google Pixel Go and it will do so much more. Now, if you're looking to edit videos and do those type of things, obviously I have my Macs for that. But for day-to-day -day use, 90% of the things that I do, not my show, not morning coach the show or anything, I'm grabbing this computer and I take it with me. This uh, iPad is more of a luxury item now. Uh, it's something that, I, like I said, I use to watch videos. I love YouTube on it. That's really what I use it for. The screen is off the charts. But this thing's, the speakers are unbelievable. They did a great job with this. I know it's a Chromebook. I know it's Chrome OS. Uh, the um, little trackpad's a little clicky, but the keyboard is so good on this. So Google, you did a great job with this. I, I purchased my stuff. Remember, I don't get paid for these reviews. I purchased my stuff. So if I had to grab one thing to take it out and run with it, it would be this, but I would still need my Mac Pro to be able to do my video editing and my editing is editing, you know, all my editing of, of my audio and stuff. This is, is still awesome, but I use it for media consumption. But if I had one thing to grab and go out and use, it'd be this, but I couldn't get, I could probably figure out how to do my podcast and stuff, but that's what I use these other computers for. But for day to day, 90% of the use, typing, writing books, my Google Documents, they, they, they just killed it with this product. I absolutely love it. The speakers are great. Video's pretty good, uh, good enough to be acceptable, and it works. So if you're deciding between the, the you know, for the day-to-day -day kind of thing, uh, then I would look at the Google. I, I actually, they've done a great job, again, and you can never beat the iPad, but if it comes to grabbing it day by day, I find myself grabbing this one. So what do you use mostly? Please leave your comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And I'm gonna get some more videos out. I need to do a review of the Beats. I'm using this new Beats headset, so that'll be coming soon uh, versus the, the uh, AirPods. But anything you wanna hear from me, I'd love to hear from you. Gonna try to get more content come to the channel soon. And I appreciate the likes and subscribes as always. And if you need to find me, over at glassinger.com or morningcoach.com is where you can get me. Okay, so love to hear from you in the comments below. Thanks for being patient, and I'll be bringing you more right here on this channel.